myself just sitting down, then getting back up, my husband had to drag me to the emergency station, then my kids were running behind me. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is Latanya Ray. She says she is one of the 14 people shot at last weekend's Round Rock Juneteenth celebration. Two other women, Lindsay Vickner and Ara Duke, died in that shooting. Now this evening, that survivor is calling herself one of the lucky ones. And KXAN's Brianna Hollis has her story of survival, plus new details on the teenage suspect currently in custody. Tell me about what it was like for you that night. It was actually very horrific, kind of ridiculous and mad and upset, actually. I have one bullet hole to my left thigh. It actually went in and went back out. Latonya Ray, who attended Saturday's Juneteenth celebration with her kids, says she was walking across the crowd to find her husband when gunfire erupted. I think that we just actually heard it and then felt it, not actually see what actually happened. People started stampeding towards the outer section. She says adrenaline kicked in at first, and her immediate priority was to get her kids to safety. Kind of, I couldn't like feel shot because my kids are there, so I just kind of like. Just went, went, went with it, I guess. Fear set in when she got to the hospital. Blood transfusion was the most furry time. They said I've lost a lot of blood, so they gave me two liters of blood in the hospital. Police say multiple people fired guns that night. Court documents released Friday afternoon shed further light on the teen authorities arrested Thursday in this case, 17-year-old Ricky Thompson III. Those documents name another shooting victim. Prosecutors believe Thompson, quote, intentionally, knowingly, and recklessly caused bodily injury to with a firearm. At this point, this is the only victim Thompson is officially connected to. Eight weeks for it to heal completely. Police haven't released any information about who's shot Ray yet. While she waits, she calls herself blessed and has a message for whoever is responsible. I apologize for the pe what people lives that they ruined in the event and the historic thing of Juneteenth. Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. And all the best to her in this recovery. Police and prosecutors say the investigation is still very preliminary. Fluid, they call it active. Thompson's charges could get upgraded to murder depending on how the rest of this investigation plays out. Now, there are ways that you can help the families who lost loved ones. We have a link to a GoFundMe page for the Vic Nair family on our website. The Duke family is asking you either donate to the Boys and Girls Club or Nuestros Pequeños Hermanos USA, which we also have links for. Ara Duke was an education volunteer for NPH, the organization recognizing her on its website as a strong advocate whose mission aligned with the groups. And there are also GoFundMe pages for those who were injured in the shooting, but have yet to verify them. So if you feel moved or compelled to give, we at KXIN just advise that you make sure you confirm who you're actually giving to. First